Ray Davis off right tackle. Able to gain four yards. Ray Davis currently number four on the NCAA's 38th start of his career. The quarterback transfer from NC State. Second and six. And Devin Leary's got open space. And Leary past midfield. Excuse me. Ray Davis past midfield. Trying to get Ray Davis here into the second level. Good patience following the block. Feels the bounce out to the outside. This he's an elite company with what he's been able to do at Kentucky. And this time he has tackled for a loss. That was Ben Perry getting into the backfield against Ray Davis. But he shows you the speed. No one accounts for him coming off the edge. And it's a negative play for this Louisville defense. Third and 14 for Devin Leary. Pressure up the middle and he is ripped down immediately by Wilson. Two defenders over here stacked. He's going to loop inside. There's a little bit of a game. And Kentucky's not there to pick it up. The center, Eli Cox, slow working that way in protection. Third down and six. Plummer steps up in the pocket. Now he's going to tuck and run, and he will have the first down out to the 42-yard line. Plummer gets it out quickly. He goes to Thrash, and Thrash past midfield. Takes the short pitch, and Plummer goes ahead and rolls his way. Jordan has it easily, as it took Trevin Wallace to get him from behind, but it's a first down for Louisville. Plummer on first down with time, checks down to a little high for Jordan, who goes ahead in the late drive, picks up 11 yards. Going to run it again. Split defenders and have another first down. Jordan behind that big back as he twists his way inside the five-yard line before Weaver made the tackle. Sylvester, the offensive lineman, wearing number 97. Jordan straight ahead. Trying to the ball came out at the end as he reached out, but they're going to mark him down. At the one-yard line, first and goal. Jordan, with all that beef in front, goes in for a Louisville touchdown on their 14th play of the drive. 240, it's going to be a meeting right here. And Louisville gets the win. They're trying to play you in a phone booth. When they line up with fullbacks and tight ends, they condense the field and they get the angles. But we talked about how Louisville has really prided themselves on being a physical football team, and you see it show up week out. The Cup. I think it weighs 110 pounds. It's like a weight of a jockey at nearby Churchill Downs. Barry and Brown on the return for Kentucky. And Brown weaving his way out to the 28-yard line. Leary, they pick up the pressure, goes downfield, and gets it complete to Brown. Ray Davis picks this up and stones it, and that's what gives Devin Leary an opportunity to throw a perfect back shoulder throw to Barry and Brown. Working against Louisville's best corner, Quincy Riley, there is no defense. 25-yard reception for Brown. They go jet here. This is Brown now. Look at him high-stepping. Little Dion shuffle as he strides out for ten and a half yards. Thirty-seven. Leary pressured right away and brought down by Jelani. Right here, run right through the middle. They're thinking five guys are coming. Louisville only brings three, and somehow nobody blocks the guy that has ten sacks coming into the game. Jeremy Flax barely got a finger on him. Best defensive lineman for Louisville. Comes in free on a critical down. Garendo catches a good hole as he brings it out to the 15-yard line. Second and three. He gets the work again. Met at the line by Dion Walker. He's like a big, giant cat. He's so explosive out of his stance. You can ask South Carolina about this. Last week, the big fella had nine tackles. Third and ten for Devin Leary and the Cats. 
The shallow underneath, and then up and over for the first down. Two tight ends in this game. You see the 82 working the drag. Devin Weir does a nice job stepping up a bit, and up with the athleticism going up and over, understanding where the sticks are. That is a huge third down conversion, or sorry, a big, big play on third down early in this game. Play action. Leary gets a complete inside the 15-yard line as he's able to connect with Dane Key. Beautiful pocket here for Devin Leary to throw from. He can step up. He can get through his progressions, allow this slow-developing route on the crossing route to happen. Remember, Dane Key dropped a pass similar to this earlier on a dig. This time, puts it right on his chest. Devin Leary does a good one. Leary. Quick strike to the outside. And Robinson is taken down at the eight-yard line. Jefferson can't find anything. Excellent pursuit by Louisville up front. Quincy Riley was the first to get to him. Leary, third and six to the end zone. What an effort to come up with it. Dane Key. Dane Key up top is running the fade. Freeze it right there. Look at this. That is a tremendous job pre-snap, understanding where he's going to go with the football, and how about the location of that throw? Putting it out in front of the 6'3 target, who time and time again this year has been able to use his size to his advantage. Big body slants, stick routes, and now the fade. You just simply cannot end. And boy, man, that has really paid off for their defense. Lorendo from the five-yard line on the return. And it's a good return by Lorendo as he keeps his balance out past the 40-yard line. They've developed him and they've coached him to be an all-SEC player. And now you got to hope to retain him in the country. Third down and three. Plummer wants more than three. And he's able to get it to Coleman. So Plummer's dropping back, and he knows where he wants to go with it, and he's got to put air under this thing to allow his receiver to locate it. You see the fighting that was going on downfield, one-on-one. -on -one. You see that great release, a little bit of a tuck there on the journey by Phil, uh, Jersey by Phillips, and it's an explosive play for you. 23, three-man rush. They drop eight. They do go underneath. It's a minimal gain as he hits Pariski. Gets a chance at redemption. 46-yard attempt, great rotation, and a target line kick breaks the tie against Kentucky. Darian Brown from the end zone on the return. Brown, full throttle, out past the 30, and spinning his way to the 33-yard line. Devin Leary, man in his face as he delivers and is able to get it to Bates. Interesting to see Liam Cohen down on the sideline, usually up in the press box as the offensive coordinator. Tackled for a loss is Ray Davis. Brought down immediately. Bush inside here. Penetration, Ray Davis never had a chance. That negative play now setting up third down. Third and 12. Leary pressured again, has to check down to Davis, and Davis only able to get a few yards back against Storm Duck. In Bristol? No. Come on now. <laughs> Dorendo dragged down from behind. I figured Boogie would be about plus 15, but he, he looks good he's getting on the Peloton you know, the next day after that. Here's Plummer on second and 11. Right at that line of gain, depending on the mark as he connects with Thompson. I'm actually a fan of like what UCLA and USC do. Everybody wears the home jerseys. Wish we do that. Here's the jet action with Coleman as Coleman makes a man miss. And we'll have a first down for Louisville. You've seen some downhill hard hitters, and all of a sudden you're getting receivers like Coleman, the transfer from Jackson State, on the jet sweep. Jawar Jordan out in front getting a block on linebacker De'Eric Jackson and third and six. 
Plummer. Far side complete to Chris Bell. First down cards. Three right into the kitchen of Jack Palmer, but he's able to anticipate and throw the comeback route outside long before Chris Bell turned around to look for this. Six years of college football Jack Plummer has played. He never even... Lorendo changes direction and it works out well. Inside the 10, inside the 5, first and goal rule. Crash makes him skip and then gets outside. It's one on one with the safety, Jordan Lovett. This has been. Jordan, can he get there? Pushes through. On Deion Walker right here, kind of caving him inside. He gives up about 60 pounds to Walker, but good physical play right in the interior of the line. And a gamble by Jeff Brom on fourth down pays off. Jordan made it a 17 to 7 game. Brown's going to take it out from the end zone, and it's a good decision. And it's not as much chaos as you think. And now Garendo gets his opportunity on the kickoff return. And Garendo gets a good one as well. Isaac Garendo out to midfield. We got 150 yards in kickoff returns back to back. And Garendo will take it off right tackle. And Garendo will turn the corner. Boy, he has really come on in recent weeks, hasn't he? And he's able to seal an edge, and that allows Garendo to get to the outside. Nice athleticism up front from the big fellas of Louisville. And we've seen these last two drives now attacking. The Maxwell Hairston, starting corner for Kentucky, came off the field after that last play. Setting up the screen, Garendo with blockers in front. Another first down, cuts back, and has the ball inside the 15-yard line. Garendo behind, and then the big bodies getting downfield. The screen game all year for Louisville has looked really, really good. And number 23, the Wisconsin transfer, Garendo. And rush. And caught by his big head, and Gabe Wood reaching forward. Right? Watch his body on top of the defender, Jesse. Yeah. Look at his legs. Does that left elbow ever touch the ground before the ball crosses the plane? And you can see as he's laying atop JQ Hardaway, watch his legs. The lower body is not hitting the ground. Watch for the elbow. It looked like the left elbow hit the ground there to me. But the question is, where was the football in proximity to the goal line? Look at this elbow. Like, I think the elbow's down right there. But where was the ball? And again, it's, it was called a touchdown, so you need inconclusive video evidence to overturn this. Ball's in his right hand and put away at the moment that that left elbow hits. But the ruling on the field is a touchdown. So unless you have the video evidence that says otherwise... No doubt that the elbow hits, but can you... Getting to the outside, I think, helps this rushing offense. First offensive play of the second half for Kentucky. Wide open! And Cummings still going down to the 20-yard line. I think it was Mason Riger, the defensive end, that needs to run with him down the boundary on this play, but he doesn't. He just kind of turns around and lets him go. There's nobody back there. And we talked about Kentucky being down their top two tight ends in this game, and Cummings now show, shows up with a monster grab. He's a local Louisville guy. Went to Mail High School. Leary looking for Davis in the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. Back 
back and forth they go. Game has got absolutely crazy. Devin Leary, great job really selling this. Coming back, locating Davis with a perfect touch throw over top. When they've given Devin Leary time, Joe, in this game, he's made some really good-looking throws. We talked, Katie was telling us at the start of the drive. Jordan. Hits the seam, and a no ball came out. Ball came out at the end just as he was spinning for extra yardage. There is a fight for it. What a great effort by J.J. Weaver from Kentucky in pursuit. Once Jordan got into the second level, it was Kentucky the comes out with it. And look who has it. Tremendous pursuit and effort. He's able to sort of rip that out with his right arm. Jordan puts it on the floor, and that is a massive turnover for this Kentucky defense. We want to talk about seizing momentum, what they've done here in the third quarter on special teams, on offense, and now finally on defense. J.J. Weaver all on his own, knocking it out, recovering it. The first turnover this year. The pitch. Davis. Gotta get it, and he does. This time, Davis is wrapped up by Perry. And around Brown. Gets the block. Cuts up inside the 30 and tiptoes his way for more. This is going to the left. In reality, it's not. He's going to start this way and peel around and get a lead block. We've seen a lot of creativity from Liam Cohen in this game calling plays. We talked about how it wasn't just going to be Ray Davis. Run. And he put the catch in position. Quarterback run goes nowhere. Just gobbled up immediately and taken down by Jelani. Games and twists on both defensive ends, and they twist right into the QB draw. You could not have called a better defense if you're Ron English. Defensive play caller for Louisville. So that this to tie the game from 46. And he does so. As Rayner continues. Third and three. Plummer trying to extend the play and look at an option. May have to run it here on third and three. Ball came out. Here's Jackson. Plummer doesn't do a good job with ball security, tucking the ball away. And, it, you know, the football takes crazy bounces. You think that thing was going to go out of bounds, but it didn't. And J.J. Weaver, again, for the second straight drive, doesn't quit on the play, and he's there to pick it up. This has been the difference in the game right now. Two turnovers, both for Kentucky's defense. Kentucky taking over at the Louisville 22-yard line. This match. Davis trying to get out of the backfield. Davis upfield inside the 10, into the end zone. How about these cats? Liam Cohen, you're getting him one on one with a linebacker, Jalen Alderman, on the screen. And Ray Davis in space is a problem. We haven't seen him do a lot of damage toting the rock in this game. Six carries for 15. Look, I agree with you. Jesse, I know you do too. That if you've watched ball closer this year, it doesn't take much to say. Jaden Daniels taken down again. J.J. Weaver has decided to impact this game. He's going to loop to the inside. Louisville's offensive line not able to pick him up. J.J. Weaver, the Louisville native, is making his presence felt here in the second half. Four comeback wins. That's the most Louisville's had since 2012. Third down and 11 for Plummer. And able to get the first down the thrash. Takes an outside release, so it took a little bit longer than it normally would. And you see Plummer there just drifting. Fourth and one. Garendo. Wallace. Rivka 
is right here. Watch him stand up the left guard. And there's a little pushback, and there's nowhere for Garendo to go. This stout Kentucky D-line, the second best in the SEC against the run, showing up at a massive critical moment. And Mark Stoops loves it. Third down and nine. Louisville trying to get the ball back. Maintain their status as a top ten team. Leary drifting back. Pressured. That ball's intercepted. Look at this. Brownlee on the return. Oh, what a mistake by Devin Leary. He had Jelani in his mug. And Brownlee secures it. And he met him. And Leary was never able to follow through on the throw. And what a critical mistake by Kentucky's offense at the worst possible moment. And there he is, Jarvis Brownlee, a guy that we weren't sure was going to play because of an injury, coming up with a major, big time interception. Come on, second and eight. Plummer is wrecked, driven back by Hayes. He's just going to beat the, the, the center, and then there's a guard coming over trying to slant to get him. Pressure from the outside from Walker forces Jack Plummer to have to step up, and Hayes is there to clean up the mess. Fourth down for Louisville. Plummer looking for something being chased. Gets rid of it, and they get it to Hines Bruce. A little magic from Jack Plummer. Had all the come from behind wins this year. Could they have another fourth down magic from Jack Plummer? Amari Huggins Bruce with the touchdown reception. Ray Davis looking for something. Ray Davis getting loose. Second and ten for Leary. What a great throw and into the hands of Brown. And they are in range for a chance to win it. Between a corner and a safety. He uses his eyes to try to freeze the safety in the middle of the field. This thing has to come out, and he puts it in the perfect place. I'll tell you, that's big time, too, for a guy that just threw a critical interception that led to a Louisville touchdown. To answer like that on the very next drive is impressive. Starting seat. Ray Davis. Here goes Ray. Say goodbye to Ray. Into the end zone. And the Cats are in control. Block Ben Perry right here, but he's got to take his time, let it happen before he hits it. You know, there's a lot of running backs in this moment that would have tried to bounce it outside. He cut it back. He made a defender miss, and like we've seen all season, he's able to hit the gas, and it's Taylor. There was a time this year after the Florida game that people were talking about Ray Davis being a dark horse Heisman candidate. The second half of the season has been tough sledding for them running the football, but catching the ball in the third quarter, now getting it done on the ground, in tough. His dream season for Louisville. It comes down to this. He's going to loft it to the end zone. That ball is intercepted. That is Jordan Lovett to put a cap on it. You don't see many Hail Marys from the 32-yard line, but this was it. I thought they had an opportunity to maybe try to dial something up to get down a little bit closer. He threw it down there, but none of the Louisville received. Kentucky, zero penalties today. In a second half, that saw 45 points in a thriller with a 100-yard kickoff return with Ray Davis and his three touchdowns and a defense that stepped up big with that guy right there, J.J. Weaver, with two fumble recoveries.